Good day, everybody. It's Jeff Wilson here again and uh, studying uh, part two of digital illustration anatomy. And uh, that we're moving on to a little more, um, a little more deeper study of anatomy. Um, I'm going to in, just uh, begin by encouraging, encouraging you to uh, study your anatomy, study your own body. It really, um, it's nice to have reference points, but uh, if you understand your own body, how it works, uh, it it really uh, helps in your illustration too. And, and, and a lot of times I will use my, my hands, for example, to do some, some fine hand acting or whatever. And that really helps too. Uh, I think we're gonna move along to just a little more exploration of the skeleton and the muscles. And I'm just gonna move over to my iPad here. And here you'll see a uh, figure that I've just downloaded from the internet. It's uh, the skeleton and the, the um, Head. And what we basically are, are showing you is, is what the uh, each of the body parts do based on the, the, the skeleton here. I'm just going to add a layer to that. And we're going to uh, just maybe put some, change the color to red here as we just sort of explore some of the points. So the, the, the head is the, the center, of course, all of the activity of the body. And um, it's the, the thing that the nerves, center of the nerve center of the body. And uh, we're just going to kind of build over the skeleton here, the, 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 the shoulder, back shoulder muscles and the uh, collarbone and going into the shoulder joint. And uh, that's where the deltoids uh, go. And then here at the um, upper uh, arm here, that uh, is where the, we find the trice, triceps, which are, uh, of course, the uh, the muscles that make the arm straight straighten out. The biceps make them widen, and the uh, triceps make make them spread out. And then we have the forearm, which has is actually two bones, and uh, the the joints of the hand, which are a series of uh, small joints. And we're just going to do the same with uh, with the uh, right arm as well. And we'll just add the fingers here. And uh, the rib cage, of course, which covers the um, all the organ, internal organs, and uh, also the, the spine, spinal column here, which um, this nerve center of the entire body, and in the hip joints here, which are uh, integral for the strength of our hips and, and um, trunk area, and the leg area here. You have your upper thigh bone, uh, which um, is built this way for stability as you can see it's kind of uh but the muscles fits over it you've got your um, your your thigh muscles which fit over that and then you have like in the arm you have the two bones in the leg over which fit the calves and the shin the, the shin area you have a shin bone and the uh the bone that joins it and, and that's for turning in both the cases in the arms and the, the legs in the lower arms and lower legs you have these bones that turn to help them turn and of course the foot muscles here too so it's looking at the front of the uh of the uh, body the same thing you have the all the muscles of the face and the, the skull and um the same muscles everywhere else uh, you have the knee joints so which are visible here from the front and uh the elbow joints are more visible from the back as we'll show here so your knee joints are visible from the front and, and they basically are the hinges for your, your leg muscles here. So that's a, a bit of an explanation for the um, for how the muscles fit over the skeleton. Now as for what the, um, the body does, I'm just going to show a couple of, of um, uh, images from the model. The, the, I basically, these models that I borrowed and uh, uh, this is a female uh, shape of, of a figure and uh, you can see the the joints and, and you can pose this figure too and you can purchase these actually and pose the figures and uh, see how the joints joints work and the muscles work in uh, particular the this particular model what have I done there <laughs> I just uh, I did something there I think I just took her off the off the screen there so what you'll see here is the the joints are very easy to see where they are in the body and how they um, the really interesting thing about this figure is that it's got the toe joints which uh, help to balance the figure 
And this is a very small figure, by the way, it looked like under th th four inches tall. And uh, you can get it to, to stand by on its own on a, in, a sh in a pose like that and uh, balance itself. So the, the whole use of the body, you can feel it, the, the pose is, it's actually the muscles are working and uh, st stabilizing the figure in a, in a pose there. So uh, that's to show that. And uh, we can show it in another pose here as well. Um, this is an interesting one too, the falling back protecting its, itself from something. But uh, you can see the, the stomach muscles uh, to hold it up as well. And the, the strength of the, the thigh muscles here and the, the, the arm joints that, that uh, give it that dynamism of the pose. And, and, uh, so uh, it's good to have these and to study the body. And of course, studying your own uh, uh, body as well is, is really important. I just want to talk about the, the hand joints and the facial muscles. These are the most expressive in your figure. If you want to do a um, study hands and study facial features and, and really um, if you have a mirror or if you have uh, yeah something to, to study your own hands and face, they'll, they'll get the help to get the real expression in your, in your poses. So I think that's uh, pretty much all I have to say about uh, skeletons and muscles. And, you know, before I close, I'm just going to say, uh, do whatever you can to study uh, your own uh, facial features and your own hand gestures, and it will really help you along. So uh, it's Jeff Wilson saying goodbye, and thanks for joining me for part two.